Let's go. Enemy UAV online. I'm about to score. Okay, baby. What's up, everybody? It's the Greatest 816 coming to you with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Uh, this is me actually playing some standard uplink uh, with some of my clan mates. Uh, it was recently asked to me to do a video about clans, so this is actually what this video is going to be about. Just some of the things that I think is important of uh, playing when you play with clans. Uh, that was a terrible death. But some of the, uh, I'm going to go over five tips, uh, I may, you know, kind of go into some other things, but I have five main tips, uh, again, that I get as far as just with me and the importance of playing with clans are. Uh, starting with the first one, of course, the more you play with clan mates, uh, you're going to gain trust within your teammates that, you know, they're going to have your back and they're also going to be understanding the game mode. And you know, basically helping you out. You, you're gonna gain a lot of trust when the more you just play, as the hours you know increase that you play with your clan mates and your teammates, friends, whatever, whoever it is that's part of your clan. Uh, the second one, and this is important to all clans, no matter how good or not, you, you need to communicate. Uh, you guys may be able to hear my gameplay. I, I like to keep my live gameplay underneath my commentary. Uh, just so you guys kind of hear how I'm talking throughout the game. I know it, it may be hard. I don't know if you guys can d differentiate the two from when me doing my live commentary versus what I'm actually seeing in the background. Sometimes I'm trying to hype myself up. Sometimes I'm actually talking to my teammates, letting them know where people are, tell them to follow me, you know, where tags are. Depends on, of course, the game mode. But communication is a huge piece. Uh, out of this, how does how does standard not have headshots? I mean, one bullet to the head, even in standard, should be a kill. But whatever. Uh, I got it. So yeah, like I said, communication that would be my second biggest uh, tip, I guess, that that you would get out of playing with clans. As long as, I mean, some genius at Sony, you know, thought to give everybody a mic that can plug into your controller. I don't know why people still don't use it. But on games like Call of Duty, especially doing objective-based game modes like Domination, Uplink, Hardpoint, those things, if you ever watch pro players play it out, they're constantly communicating, constantly. It's just something that you need to have to do when you're playing with teammates or clans, so it, it really bothers me when people but don't talk, especially, especially if it's a clan mate. If they die and you guys know that you're next to somebody, Simply let them know that you died. That way that person can, you know, watch their back, do whatever they need to do to, to understand that, you know, they don't have that help around them that they once did. Uh, my third important tip from, uh, from clans and, and, and playing with teammates or friends, whatever, I'm assuming, you know, your friends or teammates is what you start a, a clan with, you know, some people that you know. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, would be as I said earlier, understanding of the game modes. I'm sure you guys have played plenty of times domination, and you see people out there, whether they be noobs or not, they might just be going around going for kills, and they might even do good in going for kills. They might go like 50 and five, but they have one capture, the initial capture that you basically start off with, and it's like, how are you gonna help us win when you're basically doing that? It doesn't make any sense. But you know, to each its own. But the more people that you can have on your clan, you know, the better chances that you actually have of getting people to understand. You know, out of those six people that you're going into a game mode with, it, I like to have at least you know three. Sometimes you can do two, depending on the game mode. But at least three would be good uh, as far as clan mates, because I think if three, if you have three people doing the objectives, it really doesn't matter what the other three are doing, or even if you have a team of five, the other two are doing. Um, as said before though my fourth one would be the help that you get uh, you know if you're constantly communicating and you got people on your plan that are talking to you you're gonna always be understanding where people are probably what people are doing so it's gonna be constant help that you can be getting while actually playing the game you know it's nothing like somebody telling you know you know a location of where someone may have just killed them or where they almost killed somebody and they're basically ready to die just need another shot or two on them those type of things are you know definite help uh, from you know from just the game point or game plans stand 
point of view, you know. There's nothing like having that help. Uh, my last thing as far as, you know, uh, I guess tip, I really don't know if these are tips or just, you know, my suggestions. That's why I'm kind of a little, don't really know what to call it, but I guess my suggestions um, when you're playing with clans is when you're playing with your friends, your clan mates, it, to me it just seems like it's more fun. Uh, then when you're playing by yourself, it's just because most of the time, if you get into a lot by yourself, for whatever reason, it seems like you're gonna get with people that just don't talk and they don't have mics or don't even have them turned on. But when you're constantly playing with teammates, you know everybody's winning. You're just enjoying the game more. And of course, as long as you are winning, if you got all your clan mates on, you guys are still losing. It probably still isn't gonna be fun. Uh, at least if it's competitive, maybe it can be. I don't make it seem like I just. I'm a terrible loser. If it's competitive, I can at least live with it. But uh, tell me what you guys think of the gameplay or what you guys think about playing in the comments below. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.